Motor City Sports Talk, we back in the building. The Pistons officially signed uh, shooting guard Wayne Ellington. And then, you know, they was already going to wave, uh, you know, uh, 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 Henry Ellison, excuse me. He really didn't do shit for this team anyway. But, um, you know, Phoenix, a wave to uh, Ellington to get to a contender. And pretty much he going to get some opportunity to shoot that rock that he didn't get in Miami. In Miami, he was behind Deion Waiters. Now they came back, Dwayne Wade. Roddy, Rodney Magruder, then you had swing men like uh, Josh Richardson, then you had um, Justice Winslow, who's been playing pretty good this season. Um, you know, Ellington, you know, averaged 8.4 points a game and 21.3 per minutes uh, per game with the Heat. So, um, you know, he, I mean, what he provide is he won't be no savior, okay? He's not going to save the season. He's not going to be a, a huge difference maker for the, for the Pistons, but he can be pretty much a good difference maker for him because uh, his specialty is to shoot. And if he could shoot better than Bullock and Stanley Johnson did, that was a great gift for the Pistons. Um, you know, guy, he can kind of get to the lane a little bit, but primarily he known for catching and shooting. And if he can, um, you know, shoot the rock when Drake, I said Drake, when Blake print penetrate and when Reggie penetrate and, and, and with Drake kick it out, if he get double team and he can hit his open jumpers, uh, we'd be all right, you know, especially with Luke Kennard, too. You know, if Luke Kennard can get back in that rhythm he was last year, which I said in the stream last night that I thought Luke Kennard was injured because I seen way more confidence and, and more explosiveness, you know, in his game last season. And he had suffered an injury before the season, so I never think I never thought he really fully healed. So I really don't rag on him like that, man, because I, I know, you know, he had some potential last year. But, you know, but Ellington, you know, I know no major, no major get, you know what I'm saying? He ain't going to change life drastically for Detroit, but he can assist us into what well, most people want is just to make the playoffs. You know, I heard somebody say, you know, uh, people don't know how vital this is for our young players to make the playoffs. Like, what young players? What players on this team are we truly building around? None of them. Blake Griffin ain't young. Andre Drummond ain't young. He was in the playoffs three, four years ago. Reggie Jackson, what did it do for them? They didn't do shit. They probably forgot they even made it to the playoffs. Now, who else young you got on here? Uh, Luke Kennard? I mean, he may not even be part of the future. No, Stanley Johnson is gone. I mean, I mean, who? what, what young players are you talking about? Zaza got a ring. Jose Calderon been along, running around the league. Ish Smith ain't that young. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, pissing, pissing fans just find a way to try to rationalize the irrational. Okay? And they think that this team is closer than what they are. They ain't nowhere near where they need to be. And Wayne Ellington is, can help the cause, but... He ain't like putting like Giannis and LeBron on the team. This is a guy that only averaged 8.4 points a game in 23 and what 20 21.3 minutes a game, whatever I said. Okay, he ain't gonna change life drastically, but he can he he might get a confidence boost from starting or getting a lot more minutes, 30, 40 minutes with Detroit. And his his I expect his points to go up and I expect him to hit his threes and do what we need him to do to provide that assistance. But if people acting like this dude is supposed to come in and be the black Superman. Well, you got the wrong guy. St. Ray Allen, you know what I'm saying? The St. Reggie Miller, the St. Clay Thompson. You know, he's a, he's a really good three-point shooter. You know, he might be in the same rail as a Kyle Corver or something like that. But he ain't going to save life in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Teams don't wave uh, different make, major difference makers and let them get away, okay? But, hey, uh, I'm happy that he's here in Detroit. Give us another shooter. It was a, it was a good grab by Ed Stefanowski. Um, probably didn't cost them much. A lot of people will say, what are we going to do without Stanley Johnson and Reggie Bullock? Well, there you go. He got the answers, okay? Sway, he got the answers. And like I said before, you know, I'm, I'm glad the Pistons still maintain their number one draft pick. Uh, I'm glad they filled the hole for shooting. So we ain't got 100% uh, rely on Greg, uh, Glenn Robinson the third, and rely on Luke Kennard 100%. I think it's a good balance for Luke. I just don't think Luke healthy right now. Or he he just looked lethargic, man. If he give him that rhythm he was in last year and build on that next year or down the stretch of the game, I mean, I think he have a nice little future here. But I don't see him being nobody to build around or, or pretty much build with. I think he more of a glue guy. But this is my personal opinion. Uh, Motor City Sports Talk, let me know what you guys think. I'll link an article in the description. Um, backing up my claims as I usually do. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can reach out to the email. All the information is in the description. So you can holler at me. Blessings to you and yours. Hopefully, everybody have a safe night. Have a safe weekend. Enjoy it. And then we get back to work on Monday, right? Y'all know what it is. We gone.